Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here, and today I want to give a really quick tutorial on how to make a great looking Facebook banner image using Photoshop Elements. First thing I want to do is come up to the top right hand area of Photoshop Elements where we have the Create menu. Click on Create, and all the different things I can create in Photoshop Elements are listed here. Go ahead and select Facebook Cover. Photoshop Elements will show me a bunch of different themes that I can use to make my Facebook cover look great. I can scroll through these and get different previews to understand what they might look like. And when I find one that I'm interested in, I can just go ahead and click OK. Photoshop Elements will then analyze my photo, resize it, and drop it into this template already sized for Facebook. Now, if you're a Facebook user, you know this little section over here on the bottom left is where your profile image is. And I don't want this arm for my profile image. So I can just drag this photo around and move it however I want it. I can kind of get that face in there. Uh, if it's too big or too small, this little slider up here on the top left lets me scale things up a bit. Uh, I need to move it. I might even want to rotate it a little bit. So let me scale it down so I can get the edges. To rotate an image, I just hover my mouse over top of the corner, uh, outside it a little bit, and you can see it turns into this sort of arrow with a curve in it. And then I just drag that right or left, depending upon which way I want to rotate. So I want to rotate it, oh, I don't know, something maybe like that. And then I can move it around some more. I can still resize things. So let's sort of put it there. Let's make it bigger, uh, move it over a little bit, uh, something like that. So when I'm done positioning my photo, I just click this green check mark right here. Uh, Elements will go finalize that movement for me, and I'm good to go. I'm going to embellish it with a little bit of text. Uh, nothing fancy, but I'm just going to come over here on the left and grab the text tool, uh, click where I want my text, and start typing. Uh, let's just type goal uh, for this image, and again, the green check mark to finalize my text. I can move it around. I can grab the corners and make it bigger or smaller. Uh, again, if I hover just outside the corners, I get the arrows with the bend in them, and I can rotate things and just get it exactly where I want. When I'm done moving it, click the green check mark. If I want to do something like change color, uh, I don't particularly want white text right here. So I'm just going to double click it and switch down here in the bottom from photo bin to tool options. And I've got a color picker. So maybe I want this uh, dark blue uh, as my color. Uh, Click on dark blue, uh, hit the green check mark, and you can see I'm now dark blue. If I want to embellish it a little further, again, double click it. I could do something like change the font, all kinds of different fonts uh, in my system. So I'll just pick one. And then I can also do some fun things like skewing and distorting the text. This little button right here is where I can create warped text. So go ahead and click on that. Uh, move the dialog out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And maybe I want to do an arc kind of thing. And you can see, there we go. Uh, I don't want it way up there. I maybe don't want it quite that bendy, so I can slide this bend slider down a bit uh, and move it just anywhere I want. So I can get as creative as I want when I'm done making my edits. Click the green check mark and we're good to go. Now that I've got my design where I want it, what I need to do is upload this to Facebook. And not to worry, we've built that into the Facebook creator uh, here inside of Photoshop Elements. Down in the bottom, there's an upload button. Just click upload. Uh, we will prepare the files. We'll uh, size them so that they fit on Facebook. We'll slice them into two different images, one for your profile picture and one for your cover photo. And then all you have to do is click next. We will go ahead and connect to your Facebook account. If you've never used it before, you'll be asked to sign in, of course. We will switch you over to your Facebook page where you can finalize things. The way you do that is just switch to your home page and come up here on the top. Click this little uh, camera icon to update your profile picture. Uh, it will show you all the pictures that you've uploaded. Uh, right here at the top of the list are those uh, two pictures that we just uploaded from Photoshop Elements. So go ahead and click on this one and crop and save. There's no reason to adjust the sizing because we've done that for you in Elements. So one more click and you've set your profile image. Uh, then do the same thing for your cover photo. Click on the little photo choose from my photos. Those same images are shown. Pick the one that you want and that'll get set. Again, just save your images. You don't need to drag it around and reposition it. We've sized it uh, properly for you. So just save images. Couldn't be any easier 
than that. I've now got a profile image, which is still pretty cool, but it does this really cool thing where it blends into my banner image and any kind of creativity work that I've done in Photoshop Elements is now part of my Facebook page. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. You can really get creative with this feature, create Facebook banner in Photoshop Elements.